The final arbiter of whether a process is thermodynamically favorable, i.e. spontaneous, in the left to right direction as it is written in the reaction equation, is the change in Gibbs free energy. Delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. If delta G is less than zero, thermodynamically favorable left to right. If delta G is greater than zero, not thermodynamically favorable left to right. And if delta G equals zero, we're at equilibrium. We see that the change in enthalpy delta H and change in entropy delta S both play a role in determining spontaneity. In general, for solids dissolving in liquids, as temperature increases, solubility increases. We can see that in this graph. The curves that go up are for solids. This one in the upper left, potassium iodide, that is a solid at most temperatures. This next one, sodium nitrate, the one that makes a very steep increase, potassium nitrate. All are solids. As temperature goes up, solubility goes up. And for gases dissolving in liquids, as temperature increases, solubility decreases. There are a few of them in this picture that are gases. HCl, for example, is a gas. As temperature goes up, solubility goes down. Ammonia is a gas. As temperature goes up, solubility goes down. SO2, down here in the bottom, is a gas. As temperature goes up, solubility tends to decrease. The change in Gibbs free energy equation, delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S, can give us some insight as to why. And that is really exciting. When solids dissolve in liquids, for example, this generic ionic solid will dissociate when we put it in water, the change in entropy, delta S, is positive. There's more disorder, more randomness. For one thing, we have more particles on the product side. We have two particles, M plus and N minus. Those are two separate particles, whereas before they were a single particle, MN, together. And we have more motion on the product side. M plus is floating around the solution now. N minus is floating around the solution now. On the reactant side, the metal, non-metal, is a solid. It's sitting there at the bottom of the beaker. There's not nearly as much motion. So when solids dissolve, the change in entropy is positive. Now if we look at the Gibbs free energy equation, and I put a positive symbol above the delta S, we know that because this is a Kelvin temperature, the temperature is always positive. This term right here, a positive temperature times a positive delta S with a negative sign in front of the T, that thing is always going to come out negative. As T gets bigger, what's going to happen to this quantity that I've circled? As T gets bigger, it's going to become a more negative quantity, which is going to tend to make delta G negative. That is thermodynamically favorable or spontaneous. What about gases? When gases dissolve in liquids, for example, we have a gas in the gaseous phase, and on the product side, that gas is now dissolved in the solution, let's say water. The change in entropy is actually negative. In other words, there's less disorder or less randomness when gases have dissolved in liquids. And that's because, among other things, there's less motion on the product side. Think about this equation that's in white here near the top of the screen. On the reactant side, these gas particles are moving very fast, hundreds of meters per second, and they're bouncing around in every direction. On the right, those gas particles have been joined to water molecules, and so their motion is considerably restricted compared to before. Therefore, the change in entropy delta S for gases dissolving in liquids is negative. Again, if we look at the Gibbs free energy equation, if I put a big negative symbol above the delta S, temperature, of course, again, being Kelvin, is always positive. 
this quantity that I've circled here, hopefully you can see, will always be positive. Therefore, as temperature gets bigger and bigger and bigger, that circled quantity becomes a bigger and bigger positive number. So as temperature increases, delta G is more likely to be positive, that is, not thermodynamically favorable or not spontaneous.